Hi, I will show you how to add animation of the hair on top of your character with some physics on top. So let's create that from scratch. I have the single strand generator with the track to mesh deformer and then other deformers. So the track to mesh, maybe you can remember that it will glue the hair tip to the guide mesh. So this way, by sculpting this guide mesh, I can kind of groom the hair. Uh, if I move the armature, you see only the base mesh is moving. So let's fix that by uh, animating the hair. I will add strands filter. Strands filters will allow me to modify all existing previously generated strands. So for example, if I add scale, it will scale all the strands. My setup is simple, but imagine you have five strand generators. Instead of adding scale five times, you can just add filter and scale this once. So anyway, I do not want to scale my hair. I want to animate. So the first step is to attach a curve to UVs. Uh, you can input your UV map name in here. Let's preview the UV map for the character body. And uh, the UVs uh, are not the greatest in here, but the one important thing is that they should not contain overlapping UV islands. If you want to, if you do not want to change your UVs, uh, you can create just new one and use this new new UV map in, on the hair. So just remember then to edit this UV map name to the second channel. Okay, so if I move the armature now, still the hair is not following the mesh deformation. We will need one more surface deformer and a modifier. Now when I move the hair, it is following the mesh and the mesh is following the armature. And uh, if I play the animation, you see we have only 7 frames per second. This is because it seems like Blender is reevaluating uh, the strand generation on each keyframe. To fix that, we can cache and bake the hair. So uh, let's add the bake cache hair and bake this. Now, if I play the animation, we still have seven frames per second. So what is going on is that even though we bake the hair, the existing strand generators are still enabled and reevaluated. So I will disable the only single strand generator I have. And you can also disable all the formers above the bake cache. Uh, so now if I play the animation, we have double the frames. Uh, remember, the order matters. So you do not want to bake your surface deformer. Otherwise, it would kind of freeze the deformations. So first you want to bake the hair and then move the baked hair with the surface deformer. Okay, so uh, the last step is to just add some physics. Let's add the physics deformer and that's it. Now if I play the animation and move the leg around, you see some, uh, some physics is applied on top of the movement. I do not like the result for the shorter hair on the bottom, so I will mask this physics with the vertex group. And I created one in the past. Uh, let's uh, the result looks so wrong, so let's wait for the cache to clear. And uh, now the hair is not longer moving uh, on the legs. And this is also good for, for performance since uh, we can skip calculating the physics for the shorter masked areas. And uh, the, that's basically it but maybe you want to add some movement to the hair so it will look, look uh, less stiff. So maybe you could add around like 0 0.1 wind force to the right, but this is not looking realistic. So you could use, for example, the scripted expression. So hash frame, like divided maybe, maybe by 10. This will make it so that the wind force will slowly increase with the uh, frame. Uh, but uh, the better result would be to use sine, sine of frame, maybe divided by like 
4. Now you see the wind force is kind of changing with the sine wave. The amplitude is a bit much, so I will reduce this to 0, 0, 001. And now the wind is kind of changing a bit to the left, then a bit to the right. Or you could uh, add on top small offset to the right, so plus 0, 0, 001. And now we have sine wave of amplitude 0, 0, 001 with the bit of offset to the right. Uh, and uh, let's say maybe you want to prevent collisions with your character body. For that you could use enable collisions and uh, enable collide with source mesh. Uh, lastly, you could maybe increase the collision margin if you want. And uh, if you want to apply the physics only to the hair tips, you could increase uh, this influence range. So for example, if I set this close to one, then the hair physics will be mostly applied to the hair tips only. And that's basically it. So in the summary, first we added the attached car POVs with surface deformer so that the hair will follow the deformation on the mesh. Then for performance reasons, you could bake the hair. Just remember to remove and disable baked hair systems. And lastly, we added some physics on top. Uh, so that's it. See ya.